Hello everyone, this is your boy Alison Joey Teen, aka Giovanna Warta, and welcome to episode 3 of the Isle of Armor DLC from Sword and Shield. And if you guys have not checked out the last episode, definitely go ahead and check that out because that is where we basically met my girlfriend, aka the Venusaur. Because as you guys already know, Bulbasaur and basically its trio of evolution is basically something meaningful on this channel. And as Goki likes to say, Venusaur is my mascot and I just kind of work with the flow. And I think Venusaur does tend to have a tendency to be on my, like, on my side in every single basically team that's why i have them in the plcl if you guys have not checked out the video i'm pretty sure that video is gonna go up first before this one because i think that's a much shorter episode to edit or something to edit a instead of this one because i might have to do a couple of cuts i'm really gonna try my very best to make these episodes as short as possible so i can deliver double uploads every single day and i'm pretty sure this dlc is not gonna take that long so um that's pretty much it i really want to talk about and there before i continue on with the story there is a section on episode 2 that i decided to cut out because there wasn't much commentary and it was about this max soup section so something that you guys that I was really talking about is I really like the fact that they included this mechanic into the DLC because now with the max soup now any Pokemon that doesn't have a G max form for example um, my Sabo aka Inteleon fully evolved technically now it has a G max form right so if I apply the max soup on this Pokemon it can now G max and basically it would die it would basically Dynamax into its Gigantamax form, which is very, very powerful. So let, let's say, for example, I have a very strong Venusaur in Pokemon Bank, and I transfer it over to Sword and Shield. Now, if I apply the Max Soup, it could basically go into its G-Max form, which is very wonderful. I mean, I'm glad that's basically a mechanic now. But without further ado, let's get on to the actual episode. Alright, so one thing I really do want to clear things up on from episode 2, because I was kind of a bit lazy to mention it, is... I accidentally called Cramorant, I think it's called Cramorant, and I named it Ducklet. I apologize on that. I, I thought that was pretty hilarious and honorable mention because this thing looks like a Ducklet, which I know it's a Cramorant. But anyways, we are here with Heidi who's saying, ho, ho, perfect, now it's sure to work. I don't know what this is supposed to do, but let's find out. All that's left is to fire it up with the on button. So here we go. Let's push it. So what's this? Because so apparently Heidi or whatever his name, however you pronounce it, has like is this invention kid, and he basically created this. And let's see what this thing has the potential to do. You know, it crips, it power down. Hmm, still needs watts. Yo, Heidi, why you wasting my time, boy? Why you wasting my time with this little machine? You don't even know what you're doing, bro. I know you're like a computer science genius or whatever, but like, can you speed up the process real quick? Um, trying to give my viewers the kind of content that they deserve, you know? Oh, there you are. Awesome, Joy Tang. Clara, thanks for coming. So, what's this all about, Master? What did you want to tell us? Right, well, I've decided that you two will now take the Master Dojo's <laughs> final last ultimate third trial. <gasps> Final last ultimate third trial. Oh my god. Okay, final, 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 bro, final, bro. Uh, so basically, this is the last trial, right? Uh, well, yes, that's the gist of it. You two are the only ones who successfully finished the second trial. You pushed each other to grow to greater heights and helped each other grow. So, I said it's time to finally see who is stronger in a Dynamax Pokemon battle. Where, where, we're going to battle. That's the last trial. Hmm. Yep, the rules are simple. Whoever wins will complete the trial. The winner will be granted the secret armor of the Master Dojo. This is it, finally. But can I? Hmm. No, 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 no. Don't, don't you dare, Clara. Don't you dare give me those eyes. Don't you dare to flirt. Because <laughs> you ain't going to get it. <laughs> um, the battle will be held in the battle court behind the Master Dojo. The court is a power spot, so you can Dynamax to your heart's content. I've got to get going. I need to go there right away to prepare my pure heart for this. Huh, I'm going on ahead, okay? You can glaze about like a slowpoke and take as much time as you need. Hmm. Hmm. I see you. I see you. All right. All right. I see you. Hmm. Clara. She's got talent, that's for sure. But it's caused her to slack off. She's never felt the need to try hard at anything, I guess. Even with her training here at the dojo, I can tell she's been just 
doing the bare minimum, you know? But things have changed since you arrived, Awesome Joey Teen. Maybe you've helped awaken some sort of passion and drive in her, eh? Still, I only hope that motivation isn't put toward anything mischievous, you know what I'm saying? Alright, Master Mustard, we're gonna go and take on my girl. But before I do that, I'm gonna do something very secretive. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh! Alrighty, so we are here now in the master dojo courtyard or whatever they like to call it And we are about to pull out some cool shenanigans here because I don't know why I like saying shenanigans Honestly, I just some it's just a word that rings to my ears, you know. Yo, what's up Clara? You re you're ready? You're ready for this battle? You ready for this G Max battle? You ready to eat eat this meat? Uh <laughs> Oh God, oh God, what's wrong with me? I, I have I have problems guys. I have problems. But anyways, ah, you're here. When I beat you, I'll get the secret armor and then I'll become a poison type gym leader. Hmm, you like your poison, huh? Taste your po You're gonna get a taste of your little poison in a little bit, all right, Clara? I've got to win, no matter what. I'm gonna go all out and totally beat you. You ready? Honey, I've been born ready. Honey, there's nothing you can do up against me. Yo, what's up, Mustard and your honey honey, bro? Oh my god, you know, I, I gotta say, Mustard got some taste. She got, he got some taste, you know? Anyways, looks like the two of you are already. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> all right, all right, honey. All right, you two take your places. Ooh. <laughs> wait, is it a double battle? What the heck? Oh, we're going up against the, no, wait, never mind. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. I thought we were, it was like 2v1. I was like, god dang. Anyways, the Master Dojo's final trial. Ready? Totally down, guys. I'm totally down for this. I'm sorry, Clara, but I must destroy you, you know? I, I really don't want to do this to you, Clara. I do not want to release the beast that is one of my Pokemon. You know, you know, I really do not want to do that to you. I, I, I feel a little bit messed up, honestly, high key. So anyways... You're not gonna hold back anymore, Clara. I know you're not gonna do that. I know you don't. You're trying to throw in some toxic spikes because you're like the potential poison type gym leader. Holy crap, what the heck? <gasps> you sneaky little girl. You you threw those toxic spikes before the battle, huh? That you're you're some sneaky girl, but yet that ain't gonna get you far. So I'm gonna throw in that snipe shot real quick. So bop. Let me bop that scroopy out of here because I am like 38 levels ahead of you. I feel really bad. So, bye-bye, Scroopy. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you some other time. I have no time for you. So, let's do this. Alrighty. So, honestly, Lotet G is my favorite water type in this generation in terms of starters out of three. I mean, I could see why. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to switch out. Why would I switch out? Nah, no need. No need. I'm, I'm going to destroy this. Watch. I'm going to G-Max. Hydro Snipe. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Out of the two starters, a uh, three star is being Score Bunny, Grookey, and uh, wait, I said Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sob. Out of the three, I still love Inteleon. I I gotta admit it. And yes, I'm secretly on that little cut. I did <laughs> give the max suit to my boy Lil Ted Giang. I just gotta say, man, he's good. He's good. Look at him. Hydro snipe from that angle. Oh my god, that's like thumbnail moment. That's thumbnail moment. Come on, come on. That's thumbnail moment, bro. <laughs> That's thumbnail worthy moment of a segment, okay? Don't judge me. Oh my god, Hydro Snipe is just too OP. I wonder what it does. At least it- Oh my god. Okay, never mind. You're gonna throw in World P. I- I gotta keep the G-Max here because- Oh my god, guys. You guys don't even know. I love Lil Ted G. Let's do another snipe. What does this do? It's a base 160 special attack. It's a water type that- uh, Italian uses this move can be used on the target regardless of its abilities. Okay. All right. All right All right, let's see another hydro snipe. Let's go. Let's go boom Bye get bought bro get bought Bye, roll up get body man get bodied come on show all right What's what's the last Pokemon just show me the last Pokemon? Why do I have curry and uh, keep old moves now nah, curry? I give you a psycho, up but nah I think I'm really doing bad on that, but you know what? I don't care. Oh, you're gonna bring in Slowbro? Oh! 
Oh, I see you. There's no way I'm losing. I ain't let it go to the bitter end. All right, Clara. I know you don't want to give up, girl, but I know. Oh, gosh. That's a Galarian Slowpoke. Oh, no, 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 no. Luckily, I know that's a poison water type, which is a very interesting typing. Wait, is it psychic and poison? Or water and poison? I think it's psychic and poison. Holy crap. Uh, I'm going to go for the Hydra Slime because I'm assuming it's not a water type anymore. Watch out, audience. One dose of Clara poison and there's no turning back. Oh. Oh, it has G-Max form? Clara, Clara, Clara. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, 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 hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Does it really legitimately have... No way. No way. No way. No way. Please, though. No. No. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Oh, no. Never mind. It, it is a psychic and poison type. All right. Go figure. Bye-bye, Slowpoke. Yeah, no chance against my low dead G, man. He was straight killing you. Straight. Yeah, no chance. Absolutely no chance. That's kind of sad. I feel bad. I already feel bad. Dang, gosh, dang it. Why do I have to feel bad, man? I, I feel like Leon right now with my Inteleon, G-Max. No one could compare to me. You know, all that. I, I feel like no one could compare to me at this point. But I didn't hold back. I gave it everything I've got. Oh, all right, all right. I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh, wait, I forgot I had Goki on the squad. <laughs> oh my god oh my god i don't know if goki saw this episode but oh my gosh i completely forgot i had the scolopede on the team so this is a brand new mod i believe i didn't have it in it, it didn't come in the original sword and shield so yep yeah i this is a new pokemon a bug and poison i'm very intrigued of using a whirlopede i'm not gonna lie especially a scolopede with speed boost it really has high potential right there uh i if wow Anyways, back to the story. The victory has been decided. And Awesome Jewiting, you are the victor. The one to complete the third trial is you, Awesome Jewiting. Hurrah! Hurrah! Uh, I, I, I'm trying to remember how that song goes like, Hurrah! Hurrah! Whatever the song goes like, Hurrah! Hurrah! Let's go on a go! Let's go on I don't know! I know I'm singing some gibberish. But anyways. Clara, I'm sorry, girl. Yeah, I know you totally lost. I know. You stink a little, but you know what? You down for the couch still? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, I do everything, even cheat a little and still lose. I didn't expect a young, I mean, I didn't expect a young, talented kid like you to really get it, but I really was trying, you know, as hard as I could. Maybe it's time for me to just give up on my dream of being a gym leader. Once they find out what I did, I'd be expelled from the dojo anyway. Awesome, Joey Teen. You could tell the master that I cheated. Nah. I, 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 you know what, Clara, you know, we've been here for three episodes already. You know what? You think I think you deserve a third chance, huh? But why? I, I was supposed to be a fair battle, and I cheated just so I could win. That's your strength, awesome Joey Team. Kindness toward both your Pokemon and your rivals. But my master, I should apologize on Clara's behalf too, as her master. What she did was wrong, but she didn't. She just didn't want to be beaten by her rival. That's all. She's a good, hardworking student. <laughs> master, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, awesome Joey Team. As for your punishment, Clara, you're going to look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months by yourself. Hmm. What? I mean, yeah, that's a lot of work, but is that all? Hmm. Of course. Let's work on strengthening your heart, you know? <laughs> Damn, Clara. You're, you're looking... I, I feel like with Clara being the potential next Poison-type gym leader, it might be a sequel to Sword and Shield. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Potential. But anyways. Mustard. Alright. Everyone. Deans are settled here. I'm so proud of you both. You mustered so much effort. I got so cheered up that I could even see the bat. I could even see half, half the battle. But I, what I saw was amazing. I know bad English. Sorry, my bad. Ooh, ooh. awesome Drew team. You gave it your best and triumph, even when faced with an unfair challenge. To you who has completed all the trials, I. Grant the secret armor of the master dojo. It'll take some time to prepare, so I'll go ahead and get things sorted. And that's all, gang, as you were. Alright. I wonder what the secret armor is all about, so I'm very curious. Awesome, Joey Teen. What you gonna give to me? You gonna give me the put? You gonna give me the put? <laughs> um, I, well. Ooh, it better be some, it better be your ditches in the back of that lead car, you know what I'm saying? Alright. 
Dang, you're looking cute. Fine ass girl. I'm not simping, by the way. <laughs> I'm not simping whatsoever. You're really strong. Damn, was that a little flirty with me? I, hey, I, I, I dig it. You know, I dig it a little. All right, well, yo, 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 what's up, Mr. Mustard? Yo, what's up? What's good? Ah, there you are, awesome Joey Teen. Keeping this old man waiting, hmm? Since you completed all three trials, I'll give you the secret mat armor of the Master Dojo. Okay. All right, what's it? Now then, come on out. <gasps> Ooh! Kufu, Kufu! I love fighting type Pokemon. Gosh dang it, bro. He's like, who are you? Yo, mama! Yo, my boy! Hey, Charlie! Oh, who's a good? Who's a good Pokemon? Oh, who's a good Pokemon? Come on, Charlie. Get over here, Charlie. Charlie. I don't know why I called you Char- Bear. This Pokemon is in fact the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Kabu. I know, it's tiny, but raise it with diligence and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle. Just like a suit of armor, no opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. It just doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself, so I was thinking awesome Josie. Maybe if it joins you on your adventure, that'll help it break out of its shell a bit. So take care of Kung Fu, okay? Of course, my boy! H how can I not take care of this little shy Charlie? Come on, Charlie! 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 Charlie, my boy! Oh, who's a cute Pokemon? Who's a cute Pokemon, Charlie? Who's a cute Pokemon? <laughs> Join the team, Kofu. Yeah, let's go! Yeah, what's up, Kofu? Y'all my bro? What's up, what's up? <laughs> alright, alright, fighting type Pokemon. Kofu trains hard to perfect its po- Wait, perfect its moves. The move that master will determine which form it takes when it evolves. Alright. Like I said, it's a male. I'ma call you Charlie. Charlie, I might change your name later on, but you know what, Charlie? I, I feel like Charlie digs in. It digs you, man. It digs you, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, let's do this. Charlie, me and you. Yes, I wanna add this to the party, man. I wanna add him to the party. He might be my ace. Uh. I did say I want to replace my whole entire team, so Diane is unfortunately going to go in replacement of Kung Fu. Alright, let's do this. Now then, the first thing for you to do is become best friends with Kufu. You need to build trust. Kufu hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside the dojo, so maybe it'll help you become better friends if you let it have a look around. Maybe take it on to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armor. I'll have my students standing at a good spot, so just keep an eye out, alright? Hmm. And of course, having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly toward each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hear Brick grant you permission to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokemon Pokeball here on the Isle of Armor. You can now let the Pokemon at the head of your team out of its Pokemon and take it on. <gasps> Yo, that's kind of dope. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together, so go and take a stroll with Kufu, why don't you? Once your best buddies, we'll start Kufu's training in earnest. Just stop by and let me know once you think you're ready. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'll probably cut until that happens or something Or whenever something interesting happens, but I'm really interested about this Pokeball thing. I'm gonna go out real quick And let's see it. Let's see it Kufu. All right. All right <gasps> Bro, that's so dope Look at that Intellion's like yo. Oh my come on. I gotta see my girl in action. I gotta see my girl in action Yo, I want to see this. Let me let's 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 take every Pokemon out for a little bit and then I'll s Oh my god, bro. Look at that. Oh my god <laughs> That's so cool All right, let's see Whirlipede. I wonder how Whirlipede actually Loki looks compared to me I expect it to be bigger than me Yo, is it gonna be rolling? Oh my god, screw up ah! Gonna, it, it looks like a Pokemon that would kill me on an instant on a honestly. Uh, let's see how Slowpoke moves. A high key, I'm really curious. I want to know. Let's see this, bro. Are you serious? Why can't you be like Master Mustard's Pokemon? Like a fast Slowpoke. I guess you're really so, but anyways. Uh, let's see, Monse, my baby girl. Let's go. Let's see you. I want to see my boy Venusaur. I really wish I could ride Venusaur. <gasps> Look at Venus 
so look at you. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. <gasps> Kofu is finally here. Look at him. Oh my god. So something I really wanted to talk about was uh, basically the way that I'm going to do this series because I don't think I mentioned it in episode one. Not so much. I did mention I wanted to do this like a Shady Lock format. Like try if I lose a Pokemon, that's it. But honestly... Um, since this is gonna be a playthrough, I'm honestly just gonna catch any Pokemon that I feel intriguing and just use it on the squad. That way I just keep up the diversity in this series. That way I don't use the same Pokemon over and over again. Like, I saw Alakazam early on, but I was just like, eh. I see Sanigas, I see Pumikyu, and I'm trying to really find out. Ooh, what's that? This is kind of cool. So right now I'm trying to find this guy. Oh, look at this, yep. One of the actual people are trying to find out. So, hey there, I'll see you, team. You gotta see this view from me. Why don't you? Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right, let's look at the scenery. Let's see what the scenery you're talking about. You know, it reminds me more of the Lake of Rage. Not gonna lie, from Gold and Silver. So, hey, if you guys can make that reference here, then... Because they call it the Loop Goon or whatever this Dragon Goon or whatever. Ooh. All right. Being with your Pokemon makes every day scenery feel brighter and more colorful, don't you think? Eh, I guess so, but honestly, I'm looking forward to this area. <clears throat> okay, I had a granola stuck in my throat. Jeez. So, Courageous Cavern. Okay, let's let's see real quick what they call this. Loop Lagoon. So, it kind of does remind me of the Lake of Rage a little bit, so... Whatever. So, let's go ahead into the next site because apparently for this little small task, I had to hit up different places. And, oh my god, I had to head over here. So, I've actually been on these three areas. So, let's go ahead and do that real quick. So, I'm going to go and fly over to the Fields of Honor. And I know that the backside, or at least that area, is literally on the backside over here. So, I'll bop over there. Alright, Kafu, let's go on to our next and wonderful adventure. That is the island that we've once sought for a very long time. So let's talk to this guy. So this is view number two. And let's enjoy the scenery. We saw Loop Lagoon, which is pretty lit, you know. Reminds me of Lake of Rage. Here it kind of reminds me of the Grand Canyon. Come on, Kafu, let's see this outside world. You see those little Rex Mix raid battles? You're gonna soon be there, my boy, alright? All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next colorful and beautiful sides that I think is literally behind here because if you look at the map, there's two more areas that we have to go and visit and it is the pot bottom desert. So I'll pop there in a couple of seconds. Alrighty, so it took me a little bit longer than it should have, but I finally found the place in Brawler's Cave. I know I said I was going to go to the one behind the, the, the little tower, but... I was in the wrong direction anyway. So let's go ahead and do this. This is the second to last location I had to look up. And this is the Brawler's Cave, I believe. And it looks pretty lit. I mean, it's a good cave. I mean, it looks like any other cave, I, to be honest. But the Pokemon or species that are in this area are really, 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 really going to be interesting. Because I already saw Drudigan. I saw Golduck. I got saw Poliwag. There's a lot of interesting Pokemons up in here. So Drudigan is one of the new Dragon-type Pokemons that are added into the game. Which, honestly, I'm looking forward to maybe using it in the Pokemon Gym Leader Challenge. So if you guys are like looking forward to joining that Pokemon Gym Leader Challenge and watching episode 3, let me know in the comment section below so I can endorse you. Because I still have two open slots open, so let me know in the comment section below if you guys are really up to it. Alright. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and go to the final location. Alrighty, guys. So, we are here on the final location uh, where me and Kufu had to be, like, enjoying the scenery and building a relationship between Pokemon and humans. So, let's go ahead and do it. So, let's go ahead and enjoy this amazing scenery that is the bottom, bottom, pot bottom desert, I pretty much believe. So, that is that. I honestly, Haiki looks like a good view. Alright, alright. So Khufu has looked at the caves, has looked at the dangerous lagoon, has looked at the, I want to say the desert itself, and then uh, basically kind of like a peaceful island, kind of like the Greenland from Sonic. But anyways, that's something else. So we are now extremely best friends. We have gone through 
every single island or I mean not every island <laughs> what am I talking about we're not in like part two of the DLC where there's a bunch of islands like the orange islands from the original Pokemons you know I don't even know what I was talking about honestly I just jumped from ticket to ticket sometimes uh, during my commentary sessions I uh, like I don't know what goes through my mind half of the time when I talk so anyways we're gonna go ahead and fly off to the dojo real quick because we went through all four areas that we were supposed to with cup Fu and let's go ahead and talk to mustard who should be somewhere around here i have no clue where he's gonna be at hopefully he's down here up in this alley over here so we could go ahead and talk to mr mustard uh he there he's not here so i'm assuming we're gonna have to go to the dojo itself and talk to him there and maybe we'll just end off the episode there for episode three and then we'll continue on with whatever he has to offer in this dlc so let's go inside the dojo let's see what he has to offer all right where where are you mr kafu hmm if only someone no but who would gather that many hmm what are you talking about our Mr. Mustard. Oh, what's this? What's this? Let's see how you and Kufu are getting along. You're getting along perfectly fine. Look at that. Bear armor. Good, good, good. You two are just the best of friends now, aren't you? Kufu's really become more confident. How wonderful. I dare say I think you're both ready. Follow me, you two. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Mustard? What you got? A secret evolution line or something? Secret evolution? What's up, bro? What you trying to show, man? Oh god. Dum dum dee 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 la 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 dee da da. What are you saying, my boy? What are you saying? I, you're making me sound like I do speak English. <laughs> okay. Alright. I guess this is as good a spot as any. Now then, also Joey and Kufu. If you want to be good stronger, there are special training goals just for Kufu. Hmm. <laughs> Prepare yourselves for the Towers of Two Fists. Oh! The Blue Tower is the Tower of Waters. And the red tower is the Tower of Darkness. Now choose wisely, since you'll both only be able to climb one of the two towers. Now Kufu's fighting style will depend, will change depending on the tower you choose, and the type it gets will change as well. Think carefully. Each tower is five stories tall, and each floor has a tough opponent waiting for you. Make sure you level Kufu properly before trying to climb up. Now you can re you can reach both of the towers by heading through the Forest of Focus. Now, you might even be able to make, find a shortcut if you can ride your bike across the river. I'm really looking forward to when you two make it to the top of one of those two towers. It's going to be so exciting. So, Kufu could technically evolve into one of the water or dark types, am I right? And honestly, I'm a water type guy, so we're going to go ahead and do that in the next episode. So, oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do that in the next episode. I was going to take on that boof lamp, but whatever. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC, drop down a like, comment down below what's your favorite section or any segment throughout this video. But with that being said, this has been your boy, Awesome Joey Teen, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.